Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back again with another one of these um, finding the sequence of the end times in uh, the book of Isaiah. So the end of Isaiah 46, starting at 12, and then all of 47 talks about salvation and then destruction of Babylon, which is in modern day America. And so, um, you know, this is a bit more uh, kind of focused in on these two major events, but uh, worth going over. So Isaiah 46, 12, listen to me, you stubborn of heart, you who are far from righteousness, I will bring near my righteousness, it is not far off, and my salvation will not delay. I will put salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. And so we have a reference to salvation, check, always the first thing when it talks about the end times. And then the humiliation of Babylon is the title of this uh, chapter 47. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. And so again, America is modern day Babylon. That should be very obvious if you read Revelation 17 and 18. Um, For you shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind flour, put off your veil, strip off the robe, uncover your legs, pass through the rivers, your nakedness will be uncovered and your disgrace shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will spare no one. Our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, is his name, is the Holy One of Israel. So it's God's ambition to use the other nations to burn and destroy America, and to, uh, to never have it be inhabited again. Sit in silence and go into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called the mistress of kingdoms. And so in Revelation 17 and 18, is described as a whore, a prostitute, fornicating with all the other nations and, um, you know, in bed with all the other leaders. And that's exact language that's used here in Isaiah. I was angry with my people. I profaned my heritage. I gave them into your hand. This again is supporting Deuteronomy 28, 68, where um, the Israelites were brought here as a form of punishment. And so just know that. Um, I gave them into your hand. You showed them no mercy. On the age you made your yoke exceedingly heavy. You said, I shall be a mistress forever so that you did not lay these things to heart or remember their end. And so they're the leadership of really everybody worldwide thinks this stuff's going to keep going on forever. <laughs> they're just going to keep hitting the money printer and just make it go burr and like you just print forever. And so just know that. And so uh, that's the mindset of the average American and really the average, you know, person on God's left hand side worldwide. Um, Verse eight, now therefore hear this, you lovers of pleasures who sit securely, who say in your heart, I am and there is no one beside me. I shall not sit as a widow or know the loss of children. This again is consistent language with uh, Revelation where it says, I will sit as a queen and see no sorrow. And so that's the mindset of of American, a Babylonian. Um, Just know that. These two things shall come to you in a moment, in one day. Uh, This again is consistent language with Revelation. Her plague shall come in one day in Revelation 18.8. It says that um, the loss of children and widowhood shall come upon you in full measure in spite of your many sorceries and your great power of your enchantments. And so if you look up those words, sorceries, enchantments and all that, one of the root words is pharmacia, pharmacy. And so, um, you know, drugs, you know, the, the whole medical system and the narrative that we see going on right now. Verse 10, you felt secure in your wickedness. You said, no one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge led you astray. And you said in your heart, I am and there is no one beside me. But evil shall come, shall come upon you, which you will not know how to charm away. Disaster shall fall upon you, for which you will not be able to atone. And ruin shall come upon you suddenly, of which you know nothing. Verse 12, stand fast in your enchantments and your sorceries, and which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you may be able to succeed. Perhaps you may inspire terror. You are wearied with your many counsels. Let them stand forth and save you, those who divide the heavens. This is prophetic, even talking about um, chemtrails, you know, like just people spraying stuff and all that. Um, it's, it's here. You know, the Bible explains our reality perfectly. Those who divide the heavens, who gaze at the stars, who at the new moons make known what shall come upon you. So God is mocking this place saying you don't know anything <laughs> and that kind of thing. Like you're literally stupid and that kind of thing. And so, um, you know, just know that. Verse 14, behold, they are like stubble and fire consumes them. They cannot deliver themselves from the power of the flame. And this is at least Iran sending missiles here to burn America. No coal for warming oneself is this, no fire to sit before. Such to you are those with whom you have labored, uh, who you have done business with you from your youth business. This place is going to be the chief place of um, commerce worldwide. And then this, again, many, many references consistent with um, America and Revelation 17 and 18. The, The Bible is amazing how consistent it is. Uh, They wander about each in his own direction. 
there is none to save you. And so this destruction is from God, you know, and it's going to be basically just like an annihilation, you know. And so um, these nations have been developing all this technology on the back of the U.S. dollar, and this was God's ambition. So here we see the sequence. It's always the salvation of God's elect first, and then um, America, modern day Babylon, mystery Babylon being destroyed with nuclear fire. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.